I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on prime numbers. Now, in grade 5, you do learn about prime numbers. However, the concept of prime numbers is so useful that even till grade 12, we apply some of these concepts. Now, in this particular video, we will learn how to list all the prime numbers up to 100. So, that is the criteria. Now, we know what are prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers which have exactly two factors, right? So, so we have exactly two factors for prime numbers. Correct? So, with that definition, one is not a prime number, correct? One has only one factor and therefore, we'll kind of cross this out. This is not a prime number, right? Now, the prime numbers which you know very clearly are 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, correct? Since we are only interested in numbers up to 100, we need not go further. See, the idea is, if I am looking for numbers like 100, 100 is like 10 times 10, is it okay? So, if you are looking for numbers less than 100, we know that at least one factor will be less than 10, right? So, so that implies that at least one factor will be less than 10, right? Out of 2 multiplied, out of 2 taken together. What I mean to say is that, you know, if I write 100, I could write 100 as, uh, let's say, 4 times 25, correct? So, in this, we know that one of the factor is less than 10, correct? So, the idea here is that all these numbers, if they are composite numbers, then numbers which are prime numbers less than 10 will be divisors of those, correct? That is the whole idea, right? So, so that is why we only consider the prime numbers below 10 to work out the technique. Is that clear? Okay. Now, another important thing to remember here is that composite numbers will always have at least one prime factor. So, so this is also very important to understand. So, let's be very clear. Composite numbers have more than two factors. An important part is that composite numbers will always have at least one prime factor. If you are looking for numbers less than 100, then we could consider factors less than 10. Do you understand? Less than 10. Now, since composite numbers will have at least one factor, so if I take away all the multiples of these prime numbers, that means we have avoided all the composite numbers. Correct? So let's look into, so let's mark multiples of 2, 3, 5, and 7 in this chart. Do you understand? That is the whole criteria. So, if we do that, we are left with only the prime numbers. Perfect? Okay. So, let's begin. So, when I say mark multiples of 2, so all these numbers are even numbers. They will be cancelled. Multiples of 4 are also even numbers. They are composite numbers, that means, and these are also composite numbers, so we can just forget about them. Now, let's look into the multiples of 3. Well, these are all multiples of 3. And then 6, well, these are all multiples of 3. Now, to begin with, 
we actually started with an array which is six rows and ten columns right so we started with six by ten array what you notice here very clearly is it's kind of very easy to work when these numbers are arranged in this fashion right now this was actually shown in a lot of years back in BC people used to use this technique to find prime numbers which we are going to apply now right see see the beauty of the way they used to do and we are going to apply it now okay so we have taken care of multiples of 2 3 right now 5 since we have only taken numbers up to 6 you know it kind of rolls so 5 multiples will be 5 10 15 20 25 let's cancel them well they are all diagonally placed do you see that they're all diagonally placed the beauty is that all the other multiples when you arrange in this fashion will be diagonally placed so we get 5 10 15 20 25 cross them out these are the multiples so they are not composite numbers well i should not have crossed 5 5 is actually my prime number right the other multiples right so after 25 it is 30 which is 1 2 3 4 5 away and then this diagonal will be multiples of 30 and then we have 60 multiples of 60 will be cancelled and then we have after this 85 we have 90 so 95 and 100 so these are the multiples of 5 which i cancelled now we need to cancel the multiples of 7 so 7 times 2 is 14 21 you observe that they are also diagonally placed right so it's very easy to find it when you arrange in this order right so so we'll cancel these which is right there so after 42 it is 49 correct so 49 and then 56 63 70 77 84 and after 84 it is 91 so 91 and 98 also gets cancelled all the remaining numbers are actually prime numbers you note that all the remaining numbers are the prime numbers right so how many numbers remain here so there are 25 prime numbers when we are considering numbers less than 100 we're talking about numbers up to 100 right now let's list them all so clearly we have two three five so we have two three five so let me write um, uh, two three five right so these are less than one and seven so these four less than ten and then we have eleven thirteen seventeen nineteen so eleven thirteen seventeen nineteen right and then we have twenty three 29 23 29 right and then we have 31 okay 37 and then we have uh, 41 43 47 41 43 47 and then we have uh, 53 59 61 67 let me write down uh, here okay let's let's continue 61 67 then we have 71 73 71 73 79 83 83 and then we have 89 and 97 so 97 is the greatest prime number less than 100 let's count them we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 that means we didn't miss any correct so these are your 25 prime numbers is that very clear so that is how 
we can actually find prime numbers without doing much calculations. Clear? So to find a prime number less than 100, we look into the multiples of prime numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7. All those multiples, when crossed out, we are left with the prime numbers. Perfect? And that is the prime numbers we are looking for. Perfect? Now, as an exercise, I would like you to write how many prime numbers are less than 50. You can definitely count and let me know. Write your comments and share with us. I hope you understood and you like it. Thanks for your time and all the best.